Got a little project I'm doing for Maker Faire Bay Area. Welcome to Hack a Week. I found this uh, Sony Handycam model, whatever it is. Anyway, it uses DVD RWs to record on. Um, not sure when this is from, but anyway, it's got an LCD. It's got an LCD in there in the viewfinder. Lenses up front, zoom, all that. I bought it for 10 bucks and it did not have the power supply with it. Found a power supply on eBay. But I got a little uh, impatient with trying to figure out if I could get it to work. And using my bench power supply, I got poking around in here on the power input. And um, fail of the week here. I probably hooked it up backwards with polarity. Stupid. Um, shouldn't have been poking around like that. Should have just bought a DC power supply. I think I messed up something on the board, probably just a little diode, whatever, but I plugged this in, I can't get it to work now. But anyway, I'm gonna take it apart and see if I can get it to work. I think I cooked something on this board that's just way too hard to troubleshoot. It's so tiny and it's not gonna be worth the time to do it. And I don't think that it's actually gonna power up with some of these components not plugged in. So, bye bye. There's my backup. It's a Magnavox VHS-C Escort. Cool, which um, is fitting because it's going to escort me. Power on. 9.6 volts. Power lights flashing. It's powered on. And I've got weirdness. Oop, something weird happened. That's two fails in a row, trying to hack a camera for something I can wear on my head at Maker Faire. So I went on to eBay and went shopping and I found one of these. This is the Kobe Snap. Got this thing for, I think, $8 shipped. Uh, pretty cool little camera, not much to it. No kind of high res, nothing. 640 by 480 little LCD, and it's on a swivel, which means there's going to be a minimal uh, kind of a cable connecting it there. The camera portion is teeny, teeny, tiny. That's just a little lens right there. That's it. Uh, controls are on the back. It's like a little joystick. So I'm all powered back up here. I got into the menu settings, did some stuff like turn off the uh, automatic sleep mode because I want to have this running all the time. So I'm thinking since I can power this up just by giving it battery power and I can power down just by taking away the power externally. Power down. I don't really need to keep the switches that are on the side that I did want to put on my face, I can just take those switches off because I'm not going to change the display. I want to leave it just like it is. In the power on off cycle, I can just put a switch in line to my battery pack. So here's what we're thinking. LCD in the middle of the forehead, like so. The whole um, main board and camera mounted somewhere near my temple, like right about there. So that's going to be pretty cool. And then as I look around, the uh, image I see is going to be on the LCD um, on my forehead. So if I just stick that there with some liquid latex, stick this with liquid latex, and I can maybe even the edges blend it in a little bit. could even put a little dribble of some makeup, make it look like my cyborg implant is bleeding a little, a la some of my Halloween makeup skills. So I think I'm gonna put um, hot glue all over the back of this. Okay, another change of plan, which is what's fun about hardware hacking. You kind of just keep changing stuff on the fly. Um, 3M electrical tape across the back of everything, I'm thinking, and leave just the perimeter maybe a bit exposed. Don't put the tape all the way to the edge, in other words. Just to make sure the camera stays mounted, 
we're gonna put a little hot glue right here on this header time to add some latex backing to these I've got a couple pieces of tissue cut out here just regular bathroom blow your nose tissue and I'm gonna apply some liquid latex to this flip these over Got a bottle of liquid latex here. Okay, fast forward 24 hours later and the latex is all dry. It's time to peel it away from the wax paper. So this can now be stuck to my skin with some uh, spirit gum, theatrical spirit gum stuff. This is uh, almost ready to try on, do a trial uh, application to my face. I've added a power wire, pretty long, that I can connect to my little six volt power pack. This was designed to run on 4.5, but I tried it out on six, it seems to handle it okay. There's a record switch right here that I've extended, and I put a little momentary contact switch on that and I'm gonna mount that uh, with some latex to my earlobe so I can just squeeze my earlobe and start recording this is all dried down now and I put an extra piece of latex down so that I could peel it up and if I can get it to come up in one piece might be kind of cool to cover up the switch with some latex and see if I can get it to attach to the outer edges and then it will look like I actually have the switch embedded in my earlobe well, that looks pretty cool the button pushes okay pops back up all right and it looks like it's under skin that's pretty neat all right, we're powered up. Let's do one last test of the switch. Push the button, and it shows it's recording. Excellent. Battery pack's wired up, got batteries in it. Turn it on. Yes, indeed, it's on, it works. Okay, I just tried putting this on my forehead and I uh, got a little problem. Let me show you. This goes on the forehead. This goes on the side of my head. This isn't a problem. I can glue this on pretty easily, I think, with some spirit gum. But this doesn't have enough material for the curvature of my noggin. So I'm going to have to add more latex here and here. Now I've got some surface to work with. Let's see what we got now. I got a ton of latex to work with here. Can probably trim some of it back on the forehead area down low, but on the sides now, plenty to mount it up to my head. And when I say trim away, here's what I mean. Just pretty much pull on it. That way I end up with like a random edge instead of a edge it looks like it's been cut with a scissors or something there we go it's stuck on temporarily with double-sided tape because I don't really want to do the full-on stick it all over my face with the spirit gum just in case when it is taken off it tears up some of the latex I don't want to do that so I'm gonna wait until the morning of the 18th on Saturday next Saturday when I'm at Maker Faire get up early in the hotel room put on my crazy cyborg cam and uh, get out and hit the streets and I figure I'll just fit right in in San Francisco um, nobody will probably give me a second glance ha so you'll see me with this live at Maker Faire um, along with Emily Velasco we've been doing some podcasts together hack a week coast to coast and we'll probably be doing a uh, live broadcast from Maker Faire but anyway, I'll have this on all day Saturday, cruising around and um, recording people saying, keep on hacking and maybe some other things. And also just get some video uh, for a future quickie, kind of a rundown of Maker Faire Bay Area 2019. 
let's try this thing out. I'm gonna turn it on. Oh, there it is. And now I should be able to see, see you, see and me, see and me and you, and let's see, where am I? It's kind of tricky to aim this thing um, because I don't really know where the camera's pointing. Kind of hard to tell. <laughs> um, anyway, that's uh, there it is. I don't even know what I'm looking at in the uh, LCD there. Let me put my hand out in front of me for a point of reference. There we go. So right there, right there. So that should be looking into the camera. Yeah, there we are. There's, there's, there we go. There's the inception shot. It's the shot and a shot and a shot and a shot. Anyway, wow. So, anyway, it works. And then, if I want to record, I just reach over here and and uh, hit the old record, and it's recording. Awesome. All right. Well, watch for this live Maker Fair next week. And uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time.